Greetings, friends and madams. I'm Strafix Zero, and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation 2. So, if you haven't seen yet, we've reached an important milestone on the channel, and that is 11,111 subscribers. And I love me some symmetrical numbers, so I thought I would celebrate the occasion by arranging an all Zaku 1 match for you guys. <laughs> yeah, so this is um, just me and a bunch of friends. Uh, yeah, lots of us from the the, the Discord. And we do have one random on our team, uh, number 5. And yeah, so pretty much the restrictions on this match is you can use any Zaku 1 variant, and we have it uh, capped at 400 cost. So pretty much the most powerful things on here are these Zaku 1 snipers. I think they're at level 3. Uh, I am running the Magellatop cannon. Uh, this variant of the cannon causes a heavy stagger when it hits. Of course, this Zaku can also equip um, a beam sniper rifle and a long version of the Zaku machine gun, which I think somebody on the enemy team is using. Yeah, so the two teams ended up being fairly evenly matched. I think, um, yeah, we have more support units than they do, and yeah, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a tough positioning <laughs> battle because. Um, yeah, there's a lot of sniper nests on this map and like a lot of cover to use. And yeah, the the Zaku One Garrett Smitscher is probably the strongest Zaku One in terms of like uh, just frontline powers and and combo powers. And <laughs> come on, Sarge, you're supposed to use your Vulcans as your retreat. Yeah, we we could have gotten that guy on that one trip. Yeah, he just has free iframes now. Yeah, and before this match. Uh, started I was practicing my my combos with this suit and this thing can do some crazy ass damage in close range like um, it can do a combo like uh, hit with the Sturm Faust uh, and then hit with the cannon and then trip and then hit with the cannon again like uh, and some smarter people who are smarter than me they can probably fit in a few other kinds of hits in there too but yeah this thing's really dangerous at close range uh, unfortunately, I ended up just doing a lot of sniping <laughs> like in this round, so there you go. Yeah, I really do like this Zaku. Oh, it looks like Salty has his legs broken. That's not good. Oh no, that wasn't Salty. That was Pulsar. Boom. <laughs> that was a good shot. Yeah, I think um, I think that red Zaku one might be heavy. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he, he trashes me a lot in this round. Holy shit. Okay, um... I am trying to get our team to advance. Uh, hopefully someone figures out they should capture C. And I uh, definitely got myself blindsided in a really bad situation. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that Zaku uh, right next to me to be a Garrett Schmitcher, so he just... Yeah, he just bazooka comboed me to death, so... There we go, and, and he, you know, he had his teammates fire on me too. Yeah, pretty smart. Well, uh, more, more dumb on my part than smart on theirs, but <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, so I actually really dislike this side of the map, um, this little step I'm standing on. Uh, I can't believe the defensive position, you actually have to hop up instead of walk. And then on the other side, you can actually just boost up the side, like this is... That's just wrong. <laughs> they need to fix this slope right here. Okay, yeah, that's uh, kind of a hard position to breach. I'm going to try to get up here again. Yeah, and I find that uh, the Zaku Sniper... It, doesn't really have the running speed to like walk up this thing. You have to boost up it. It's very annoying. And I <laughs> slide back down. Oh, so graceful. Oh. Yeah, and this is sort of the downside to doing an, an Ozaku one match. Like, um, you know, we've all been playing like 600 matches lately, so I'm not used to this like low mobility anymore. Um, so yeah, this was actually pretty rough. Okay, so I see somebody capturing C, so I should be able to land a shot as soon as he gets out of his invincibility. Yeah, having having heavy stagger on this cannon is just insane. Holy crap! I didn't expect to get that kill. I was just I thought I was just about to nick him with the explosion or something. Yeah, and while I really do like this weapon, it's a little overpowered, but um. It does have a very teeny tiny blast radius, so you'll, you'll see me get a lot of very close shots that don't quite do any damage. Uh, yeah, if this was, um, you know, any other cannon, like, uh, it'd have better splash rate, uh, a splash damage, and, you know, yeah, I'd be able to get a pretty good hit in there. 
Okay, let's see if we can do anything with this. Ow. Yeah, those those storm fouls don't have very good you know, flight speed. Well, almost. Yeah, they're using very good uh, very good use of cover right there. Hmm. Looks like uh, that's a Garrett Schmitzer Zaku one, and yeah, he has broken legs. Okay, here's Heavy causing the uh, trouble on the front line. I thought I was about to miss that, but he boosted into it. Yeah, get him, Salty. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Salty, by the way. Yeah, we haven't gotten a plane in a long time. But yeah, friendship wins. Alright, this guy is going for a suicide charge. <laughs> charge right into my cannon shot. It's great. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Yeah, if there's a if there's a long gun somewhere that's causing a lot of smoke when it hits you, that's probably um, the the long barreled Zaku machine gun. Oh man, almost had that shot. Okay, I am out of ammo, so I'm thinking about oh, there's an airstrike coming in. I was thinking about getting my Sturmfaust and getting in close. Yeah, we have a very narrow lead. Okay, we're running a little low on manpower here. <laughs> okay, let's get in closer to see if we can help this guy out here. Okay, another Sturmfaust kill. God, I almost never land those for some reason. They're, they're incredibly slow, like, weapons. Oh, that was pretty funny. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, I was wondering where their other units were. Okay, so, yeah, they have a another sniper who's prone with a beam rifle. That is a very, very dangerous person to come across so yeah so I'm telling my team like don't go out onto that nest <laughs> because it's yeah it's being um yeah, it's being bombarded by that sniper what the hell is that yeah on my screen the shot hit the cliff but it exploded behind me also that was yeah I didn't expect that it kind of got me killed uh, lots of weird shit like that happens when I play recently yeah, like, uh, the people on my Discord, they're from all over the place, so, like, our, I guess our lag difference doesn't really mesh well together sometimes. <laughs> okay, got a few seconds left, let's, uh, let's get out to the middle of the map and see if we can help Salty here, he's out there by himself. Ah, yeah, that guy was just a tick away, but, yeah, I didn't quite get him. Alright, that was, uh... That was a pretty fun match. Um, I wish I could have gotten into close range a little bit more, but but yeah, the enemy team, or our friends on the other side, they're putting a lot of pressure on us. So yeah, we had a, a narrow lead, just 2,000 points. That's not too much at 400 cost, and yeah, Salty did the most damage on our side, and a Heavy, of course, did the most damage on, on the other side. But yeah, that was a, that was a really fun and interesting match. Um, and yeah, the, the Zaku ones there, they're, uh, yeah, very, very good cannon fodder. And yeah, we did do another match after this where my side used all Zaku 1 raid types, and I thought I recorded it, but I think I I didn't hit the record button, and I'm really sad I missed out on that, because it was actually a really hilarious match uh, watching us die over and over. But um, yeah, we did put up a good fight. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Thanks again for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.